Welcome back everyone, it's Roblox Monday. In today's video, we'll be drawing Pony from Roblox Piggy. Let's begin by drawing a large circle on the top center of our page for the head. Now if you're not comfortable doing this freehand, you can always trace a bowl or a plate. So start in the middle at the very top. It's going to work our way over toward the left side. Going out, down, and then in towards the middle. And then we'll work our way up towards the right side. Now with the head in place, we draw a smaller circle on the bottom half of the head. So start right in the middle, start up here, and draw that circle going out. And then down one, leave a gap along the bottom of the head. Just gonna round out the muzzle. And then go up along the right side. Let's draw a small oval on the top of the muzzle for the nose. We're gonna leave a gap along the top. Just gonna work our way out toward the left. Come down up the right side, then back up towards the top. And now we're going to add two small circles for the nostrils. Let's start on the left side, going all the way around, and then we'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's move out to the side and draw two circles for the eyes. We're going to start over on the left side at the very top, drawing the circle coming down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right side. Come in, and then down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. So we start on the inside edge on the left, we draw a small circle. Going out, around, and then back in. Line this up on the right, in the opposite direction. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Let's move up to the top and tuck the ears in behind the head. So you're going to start directly above the left eye, step up to the top and draw a circle. Go up, round up the ear, and then pull that back in. Let's line this up on the right. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Going up, down, and then in. Let's move back in and layer the glasses on top of the head. We're going to start right in the middle. We're going to start with a straight line going across from left to right. Now from the left side, we curve the glasses going up above the left eye, and then just pull that down on the side of the head, go to the right, and do the same thing. And then from the outside, we're going to curve the glasses coming down underneath the eye, round this out. I'm just going to pull that up on the inside. We want to leave a little gap along the top. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. We're going to come down around the muzzle, underneath the eye, and then we'll just pull that back up along the side. Let's close off the center of the glasses. From the left side, we're going to curve up and then back down. Now we want to thicken up the frame of the glasses along the inside. So starting from the outside corner, we're going to step in. Just leave a thin gap all the way around towards the inside. And then we'll trace the bottom of the glasses, starting back over on the left. Again, just leaving an even space gap all the way around. Just pull that back up on the inside. Let's fill the frame of the glasses in black. Let's add two small ovals on either side of the head for the cheeks. We're going to start from the bottom edge of the glasses and draw an oval going around towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now 
Now that we have the head in place, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start over on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip, move over towards the right. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going out towards the right, and then down towards the same height. And then we'll close off the bottom. We'll start back on the left, we bend this down, and pull it up on the right side. And then from the center of the body, we're gonna step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up, and then down, and then leaving a small gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out, and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out, and down towards the right heel. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, we'll curve the foot, coming down, and then up towards the toes. And then going back to the left side, let's draw on the top of the foot. We start from the toe, we're gonna curve up, and bend the foot coming down, aiming towards the heel, we'll stop right about there. And we'll move back up to the hips and draw on the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, curve the leg going out, and pull that straight down on top of the foot. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the arm and the left holding the wooden sword. So from the top of the body, we're going to step out, curve the arm, coming down, and bend that out towards the wrist. And then we'll curl around the thumb. Starting from the wrist, we're going to go up, and bend the thumb coming down, round up the tip of the thumb, and then go back up. And then we'll draw on the palm. From the inside of the thumb, curve down, and then hook that in. And we'll wrap three fingers around the handle. Starting from the outside of the thumb, draw a half oval. Going out, and then in. And we step down, draw that again. Going out, I'm just gonna pull that up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Let's draw on the bottom of the handle. Just underneath the finger, we draw two straight lines coming down. And we'll close this off with a straight line. And we'll move up to the top of the hand, draw the hilt. Starting from the top of the finger, straight out. Go up along the side of the short line. And just pull that in just on top of the thumb. And pull that straight down. And then we'll draw on the top of the sword. Leaving a gap in the center of the hilt, go to the left side, angle up and out. Go to the right, we're gonna angle in the opposite direction towards the top. And we'll pull that in towards the center point. Going up and in. Now I'm going to move back down and close off the bottom of the arm. Let's start from the inside of the handle, curve the palm coming in, and then up. And I'm going to step back down, then the arm coming in and up behind the body. Let's move over and draw on the right arm. We start by lining up the inside of the edge of the arm, curve out and down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, let's add a bracket. And we'll curl three fingers around in a fist. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down, bend the finger going up around the bracket. Step down, go out, and up with the second finger. Now for the third finger, we'll step down, go out, bend the arm going up, and in underneath the head. And that's pretty much it. There's Pony from Roblox Piggy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.